second session i mean second half of the session so remember c is s before e i y we are doing the sounds of english and why should we know about the sounds of english to so, abhi now i am going to talk about syllables ab syllables se words bante hain and whenever you are dividing words then certain rules need to be followed so you never can divide one syllable word you can never divide the syllable you always so abhi in word division when we are doing we will understand it better so before that just to quickly understand the sound of c so c ke baad agar i e y aayega then the sound is sa aur agar a aur u aayega then the sound is ka so we will just see this how so oh is my screen visible no ma'am no ma'am oh no ma'am oh okay okay no, ma so sorry so sorry i'll just start sharing my screen yes okay now is it visible yes ma'am yes so c is equal to s before e i y so c e l l cell phrase phrase center c's grace so just remember this rule it's a very simple rule we all can always just be aware of this that is why appreciation is c i and application is c a similarly with g also when it is e i y the sound is j and when it is a u then the sound is k so these are just general rules that i am sharing with you because it will help us in writing or reading so what is a syllable now we come to the word syllable so can anybody now uh, we are doing english okay so let's understand how many syllables are there in the word english to ye jab the vowels consonants vowels ye jo different different sounds ho jate hain ab letters pehle humne samjhe consonants samjhe ab letters aur consonant ke combination se ban jayenge syllables aur syllables ke combination se banenge words so one syllable is one unit of pronunciation a word suppose if i say kite or cat suppose if i say cat तो कैट अब मुझे कैसे पता चलेगा वन सिलेबल है कि टू सिलेबल है कि थ्री सिलेबल है कैन एनी बडी टेल मी हाउ मेनी सिलेबल्स इन कैट और हाउ मेनी सिलेबल्स इन इंग्लिश और हाउ मेनी सिलेबल्स इन रिसर्च और हाउ मेनी सिलेबल्स इन मेथडोलॉजी कैट इज अ सिंगल सिलेबल वर्ड ओके एंड इंग्लिश विल हैव टू और रिसर्च विल आल्सो हैव टू how like how the, will we know how will we know like the word english is pronoun i mean we break off the pronunciation ing and lish so the way we break off the pronunciation it becomes you know a syllable so english will have two syllables yes very very correct but i'm going to tell you an easier technique to do that because you know breaking of the word can also be very very subjective now suppose if a word is like uh, i mean there are many many words where a little confusion can take place so there has to be a trick which is applicable for all so the simple trick is to do do the, like this you can also follow me though i cannot see you but i'm sure you can do this wherever you are sitting so put your hand under the chin and say and notice how many times does your chin drop so when you say a particular word if it drops one time it is a one syllable word if it drops two times it's a two syllable word if it drops three times then it's a three syllable word it's that simple so if i say cat a ah, one english two times re search 
two times. So we computer computer three times. So this is how actually this is what is happening. Every time my chin is dropping, that's a single syllable. That's one syllable. So once we know the syllables, then we should be aware how to divide the words. So agar if I'm doing English and if I have to divide the word, I can only divide it as English. I cannot do E-N and hyphen and G-L-I-S-H. No, that is incorrect. So interesting, ma'am. Yes, you're going to learn many yes tricks and techniques. So this brings in more fun in learning a language and mastering a language. So this is a syllable is a word part and the basic unit of English rhythm. So you can have. So in the word, suppose now try it yourself. Drive. Way. So how many syllables? Drive. Way. Two syllables. But if you say drive him away, there are four syllables. So this is the magic of syllables. Or Hamari Sari spelling. So many times we get confused. Ki single achha khasa word chal raha tha. Ye spelling double kyu ho gai? So why is the spelling doubled? Bahati, uh, there's a yes. Bahati, kaida clear. Thank you, ma'am. So nice. Thank you so much. Such an encouraging uh, comment, and it's highly motivating to get positive comments. Thank you so much. Your feedback matters a lot. It brings in a new energy. A new enthusiasm. Yes, it's interesting. Yes, yes, yes. So. We will, yes, somebody wishes to say something. Okay, so what happens? So, Jesse, up, Hamari Jose, up now we have understood what are short vowel sounds and we have understood what are syllables. So, agar Hamare short vowel sounds ke saath ing lagana hai, single syllable me agar ing lagana hai. You will always double the last letter. That's a rule. Jaise run. Ab run ko mujhe running karna hai. To R-U-N-N-I-N-G. Hot. Ko hotter karna hai. Hot. T-T-E-R. Last letter will always be doubled. That is a rule. So why I bring this, why I share this, because many children I have seen, many adults also I have seen, many, many, I mean, educated people also I've seen, writing the spelling of writing as W-R-I-T-T-I-N-G. So what T-T nahi hoga, because W-R-I-T-E ends with a vowel. So hitting, may double T ho sakta hai, but um, the running may ho sakta hai, but writing may nahi ho sakta because there is a, that's a technicality of the language. So we are just going to quickly see some spelling rules which are very, very interesting. So if the, if you have a single syllable word or ending with FLS, then always puff, fluff, cliff, sniff, Hill, doll, cell, ye automatically last letter doubled ho gaya. That's a rule. That's called the floss rule. F L F matlab ending with F, ending with L, ending with S or Z sound. So floss se aapko yaad hona chahiye. Then if there is one syllable, one final consonant. Then, like I was just talking about, run. Aki vowel hai, running. Bat, batted. Big, bigger. So, always the last 
consonant will be doubled. That is the other rule. Kabi kabi beach me ho jata hai double letter. To beach me kabi bhi single consonant nahi hoga because ra bit. Ra ah short vowel. Bit short vowel. So b will be doubled. Tan al so double vowel. But tar double vowel. Let tar double vowel. So this is the logic why words have double letters. We always get confused. The first rule is floss rule. The second rule is one, one, one rule. One syllable, one consonant, one double the final consonant. And the third is rabbit rule. So that is important. So this is... Uh, is this interesting? So now I'm going to be doing some exercise with you. Yes, exercise on spelling. So very interesting. And there is one thing, usually we do this exercise as a worksheet, where I give the worksheet and you just decide which one is correct, which one is incorrect. Up now we have to do this in this age of digital learning. We have to do it on the computer. And computer is so smart, most of the times it will automatically underline the one which is not correct. But fir bhi, let's see how many rules can we apply. Shall we do it? Yes. 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 Yes, okay. I'm so happy this interest in uh, learning something new is so encouraging. So we have this. Abhi humne C ka uh, rule kiya tha. So can you tell me which one is correct? Second one. Second, huh? Second one is correct. Necessary. So C E C E C. -E. C -E. Ha. Second one is correct. Now in this, the second one. Third one. Third. Third, Third. one is correct. Third one. So again, you can see the double letter a uh, is a short vowel. Accommodation. So the vowels are doubled. And dation. D D ke baad jo a aaya hai. That's a long vowel sound, so it is not doubled. Okay. The third one, which one is correct? Third. Third, third, one. third, third one. one. Okay, the fourth one, pens, papers, envelopes, which third. is used? Second. Second one. Second. What is one. the difference between the second. first and the second one? After yen, please place there. What, what is the difference? The the first one or the second one or the third one? E and A. Second one. Uh, e and A is there. E R Y is correct or A R Y? A R Y. Second one is correct. Uh -huh. So I just want to, yes, uh, actually, dono words, E R Y B correct hai or A R Y B correct hai spelling wise. Dono ki spelling yes. correct hai. Par ek stationary, jo, yeah. uh, jo E R Y wala hai, that is for pen paper. Jo A R Y wala hai, that means stationed, stationary, mane spell. That is why we have railway stations. Railway stations hote hai na? Where train comes to a standstill. Moving train stops and it becomes still at a station. So station, anything which is stationed means at that place still. Matlab still, sthir hona. So stationary, A-R-Y is stationary, sthir not moving still or jo e r y hai that means the ye jo pen paper notebook wo jo stationery sh shop hoti hai that the spelling of uh, stationery shop is e r y or stationery item so stationery articles so a r y is for stationery jo ki sthir hai 
A R Y. So next, second one is correct. Huh? Are you two, ma'am? Are you two? Second one. Second one. Second one, second one is second correct. One. Second one is correct. Sixth me. Third, third one is correct. Third, ma'am. Third. One last third one. Third one is correct. Third one. Third one. Correct. Huh? Seventh me. Second. Second. Second one is correct. Second. 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 फर्स्ट वन इज करेक्ट अगर आई ई और ई आई में भी कंफ्यूजन होता है कभी कभी तो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू से कि हमेशा जैसे फील है बिलीव है रिलीव है हैंकचिफ है तो इट इज ऑलवेज आई ई पर अगर सी आ गया तो E I हो जाता है तो दैट इज समथिंग वी हैव टू रिमेम्बर आफ्टर सी इट इज ऑलवेज ई आई इट कैन नॉट बी आई ई सो दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन यस तो हम वर्ड डिविजन पे आते हैं और वर्ड डिविजन के लिए जो यहाँ पे साइन है दैट इज द साइन ऑफ हाइफ वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन हाइफ एंड डैश कैन एनी बडी टेल मी वट्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन हाइफ एंड अ डैश तो अगर मेरे लिए मतलब इट इज गुड इफ यू आर नॉट श्योर बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू बी लर्निंग अबाउट बोथ so like I shared earlier simple चीजें है जो कि हम बहुत बार we just you know forget about them so hyphen is used to separate words and hyphen uh, जैसे हमारे जो compound words होते हैं उनके लिए जो sign है that is the hyphen तो how do we divide words we have to remember hyphen is used when we are dividing words compound words if it is a one syllable we cannot divide it if it, the word is cat cat ko nahi divide karenge rehne dijiye wahi pe nahi to next line pe automatically aayega proper nouns cannot be divided hamare naam bhi syllables hote hain my name is divya so div Yeah, two syllables, but I cannot divide it if I am writing. Or you are writing Einstein's name, or you are writing some uh, re, um, scientist's name. So, namo ko kabhi divide mat kijiye because that is the rule technicality. Or agar hamare prefix or suffix us word me already laga hua hai, to jaise unwanted ya yeah, accountable. तो ऑलरेडी हमारे जो ये वर्ड्स हैं ये ऑलरेडी हाइफनेटेड हैं मैं इनको प्रीफिक्स और सफिक्स से ही डिवाइड कर सकती हूँ आई कैन नॉट मेक इट अन वॉन्ट एंड देन पुट अनादर हाइफन एंड मेक इट अन वॉन्टेड नो अन वॉन्टेड ऑलरेडी हाइफनेटेड है तो प्रीफिक्स और सफिक्स वांटेड में अन लगा हुआ है अकाउंटेबल में एबल लगा हुआ है तो उसी से आई विल डिवाइड इट सो प्रीफिक्स और सफिक्स को देख लीजिए और ऑलरेडी हाइफनेटेड वर्ड्स को फिर से हाइफन नहीं लगाएंगे ओके सो सिलेबल्स हमारे जैसे वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन दिस सिलेबल्स दैट्स अ यूनिट ऑफ प्रोनाउंसिएशन one syllable has one vowel sound there may be two three vowels in the word jaise road road mein o a hai but the sound is only one so that is one vowel sound so uh, two syllables we have already done now we are doing an exercise on syllables can you see this can you see the screen Yes, madam. So, आपको बताना है कि हमारा सिलेबस में डिविजन कौन सा सही है कौन सा गलत है टीचर देखिए टीचर इज इट करेक्ट बी वाला हेलो 
So teacher is correct what they have given here? B is correct. So little pe dekhte hain what is correct? B, B is Which correct. One? B. Huh? Uh, C, 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 C or B. C. बताइए कैसे हो रहा है जब आप ऐसे बोल रहे पावर पीपल 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 Absolutely, A is correct. Money. Yes. A is correct. A. First, say, see. B is correct, ma'am. Huh? D one. D D D D is correct. D D D for Delhi is correct. Yes. yes. Next. A is A. correct. A. A is correct. A, 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 A is now A. you are getting A. it. Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Absolutely. Next. Uh, C, I think. C. 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 फिर से बोलिए. Practice कीजिए वो चिन वाली. Against. 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 A one is A A A A one. Against. Against. ये 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 इस A one. B B A. A. Everyone is saying A. A. इसमें ये ब्रदर में पावर मैडम ब्रदर में ए एंड ए एंड डी बहुत सेम आई थिंक इन ब्रदर नहीं पावर में ए इज करेक्ट एंड ब्रदर ए एंड डी ए एंड डी सेम ब्रदर में हां ए एंड डी आर सेम बट सही कौन सा है बी बी आई थिंक बी 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 मैम बी 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 फॉर बॉम्बे यस यस मैम ब्रदर दर है ना नहीं तो वो ब्रॉथ आर हो जाएगा तो दैट विल बी रॉन्ग साइंस में बताइए सी a c c i think n c c c c bol ke dekhe is correct sai sai c c ma a n c c c one no vowels hai but sound signs a uh, d ho sakta hai d d d yes d sai signs sa साउंड तो एक ही है ना इट इज ई अगर हम सी करेंगे तो इट बिकम साई एंस सो इट्स नॉट साई इंस इट्स साइन साइंस मतलब B वाला साउंड जो आ रहा है साइंस B वन इस करेक्ट सी हाउ द साउंड इस कम ओके नेक्स्ट D D D D D इसमें तो कोई चॉइस ही नहीं है इतने सब इसी बैंग D वन D D इस करेक्ट और इनफ में इनफ B B B B वन D B B B absolutely correct B. very very well done so thoda sa ideas hua syllables ka what we are talking about how to divide the words did you get little idea on what yes ma'am yes ma'am absolutely yes it's really very yes, interesting yes. yes 
Isn't it interesting? Fun yeah, way to learn. Yes. A lot of Only concepts became clear. Way. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. I understood till syllables, but how to divide words on basis of syllables? I'm not getting anything. Only first syllable to consider to divide words. Okay. Wonderful. Who? is asking this question i'm so happy that this question has come okay let's take up big big words let's take up engineering or let's take up mechanical or let's take up mechanics ya koi bhi word lijiye koi bhi word so sankalp sir this is your question can yes, you uh, aap apna naam apne naam ko can you divide it into syllables Uh, as uh, some uh, two syllables. Absolutely, hard K ko. Um, three, I think hard. Okay, three Nine. times my joy is dropping. Hard, hard. Okay. K. Hard. Okay, two K. two syllables. Two some syllables. Some kal. Yes, hmm. two syllables. So, by saying mechanical, agar hum bolen, me ka. प्रोनाउंसिएशन की बात करते हैं तो क्या होता है कि वंस वी अंडरस्टैंड द सिलेबल्स इन तीनों सिलेबल्स में एक सिलेबल स्ट्रेस्ड होता है तो जैसे प्रोफेसर में फर्स्ट सिलेबल स्ट्रेस्ड प्रोफेसर में सेकंड सिलेबल स्ट्रेस्ड एंड प्रोफेसर में थर्ड सिलेबल स्ट्रेस्ड तो द करेक्ट प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज प्रोफेसर द सेकंड सिलेबल ऐसे ही जैसे स्टूडेंट्स की बात करें तो स्टूडेंट में How many syllables? Two syllables, है ना? And first syllable, two syllables. So students, so students. आप उसको मैं बोल सकती हूँ student भी बोल सकती हूँ student भी बोल सकती हूँ पर अगर मुझे syllables पता है तो मैं बोलूँगी first syllable is stress. So student. ऐसा हो जाता है कॉलेज कॉलेज में भी कॉलेज 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 टू सिलेबस है ना सो संकल्प इज योर डाउट अ लिटिल क्लियर नाउ यस 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 तो सारे वर्ड्स में और फिर वंस यू स्टार्ट एंजॉइंग दिस तो आपको स्पेलिंग में भी इतना इंटरेस्ट आने लगेगा सो मेनी टाइम्स वी डोंट यू नो ये टेक्निकलिटीज पता होने से इट बिकम्स मोर इंटरेस्टिंग सो आई थॉट आई शेयर दिस विद एवरीवन सो नाउ वी कम टू द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन सो वी आर डूइंग हाइफंस एक्चुअली हम आपके साथ आज जो आपका टेक्निकल राइटिंग का एक इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है हाइफन सो बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाइफन बिकॉज हाइफन टॉक्स अबाउट सिलेबल्स की वन सिलेबल वर्ड के नॉट बी हाइफनेटेड तो अब सिलेबल्स क्या है तो पहले हमको सिलेबल्स पता होना चाहिए तब तो वी कैन से ओके वेर इज हाइफन पुट so that is why i introduced all these little 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 uh, you know information that was required to understand the usage of hyphen so hyphen is used for like we have just shared ki hyphenated words to hame bachpan se hi pata hote hain cooperate anti nuclear great grandmother we can do this 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 par agar numbers aa rahe hain aapke uh, writing mein और नंबर्स और वर्ड्स को आप अगर कंबाइन कर रहे हो देन आल्सो यू विल यूज हाइफन सो इज आई मीन नंबर इन वर्ड्स एंड सेंचुरी नॉवलिस्ट सो देर बी अ हाइफन बिफोर दैट इन बिटवीन अगर आप कंपाउंड नंबर्स लिख रहे हैं तो कंपाउंड नंबर्स कहां से शुरू होते हैं ट्वेंटी से एंड टिल नाइनटी दैट मीन्स ओनली डबल डिजिट थ्री डिजिट में नहीं जाना है ओनली डबल डिजिट ट्वेंटी वन टू नाइनटी 
Okay. Okay. So if you are writing fractions, then also you use a hyphen in between. And uh, if there is one number and one word, then also you use a hyphen. So this is the usage of hyphen. Hyphen hum kaha kaha pe use karte hain, kabhi kabhi hume surety nahi hoti hai. So technicalities in writing deal with these little pieces of information. So uh, when words are joined, words are compound words, when numbers form part of a sentence, agar aap numbers khali likh rahe hain, compound numbers hain, 21 to 99, or uh, between a frac a numerator and denominator, or agar number or word aar rahe hain, to, to ye aapka hyphen aa jata hai. Thik hai? To ye jaise kaha kaha hyphen nahi aega. To ye hyphen jaise अगर आपने ऐसा डिवाइड कर दिया कि एक लेटर यहां रह गया ए से सिंगल लेटर और द लेटर्स स्टैंड अलोन यू कैन नॉट डिवाइड अ वर्ड सपोज डैन अ टेनिस चैंपियन सर्व्स मोर एसेस देन एनीवन आई नो ए उधर सीएस इधर तो सिंगल लेटर्स को हम नहीं हाइफनेट कर सकते प्रॉपर नाउन्स को हम नहीं हाइफनेट कर सकते दे आर नॉट हाइफन इज नॉट टू बी यूज और ये मैं रूल आपके साथ पहले शेयर कर रही थी एक तो प्रीफिक्स या फिक्स पे हाइफन करना चाहिए और अगर ऑलरेडी हाइफनेटेड वर्ड है तो उस पर हमें हाइफन की जरूरत नहीं है सो सोलर पावर्ड मतलब सोलर पावर इज ऑलरेडी देर इज अफन आई कैन नॉट पुट अनदर हाइफन देर सो दीज आर द फॉर्मैलिटीज दैट आई नीड टू ऑब्जर्व लाइक आई सेट टेक्निकलिटीज सो क्लियर विथ हाइफन नाउ यस सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू समाइम्स वी यूज फॉरन वर्ड्स इन आर राइटिंग ऑल्सो एंड वी आर गोइंग टू बी क्विकली डूइंग सम फॉरन वर्ड्स जो कि कभी कभी नाउ दे हैव बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ आर राइटिंग एंड स्पीकिंग स्पोकन इंग्लिश ऑल्सो जैसे बोनाफाइट बोनाफाइट कैन एनीबडी टेल मी व्हाट डज बोनाफाइट मीन हर कॉलेज में बोनाफाइट सर्टिफिकेट बोनाफाइट इज सच एन इम्पोर्टेंट वर्ड बट बोनाफाइट इज एक्चुअली अ फॉरेन वर्ड एंड इट मीन्स जेन्युन सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ सम फॉरन वर्ड्स और हर वर्ड को मैंने ऐसा लिया है एक्चुअली हम ये फॉरेन वर्ड्स क्यों कर रहे हैं क्योंकि एक तो हमें ये पता चल जाता है कि सम वर्ड्स आर सो हेवीली इनटू इंटीग्रेटेड इनटू आर लैंग्वेज दैट दे हैव बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ आर नॉर्मल वोकैबलरी दैट इज वन द सेकंड इज इन योर राइटिंग्स व्हेन यू आर यूजिंग द फॉरेन वर्ड्स और नेम्स ऑफ फॉरेन जर्नल्स देन देयर आर सर्टेन टेक्निकलिटीज अगेन व्हिच नीड टू बी फॉलोड सो so, हम थोड़े से फॉरेन वर्ड्स अभी सीखेंगे और उसके बाद और आगे जो एग्जाम्पल्स होगा उसमें आई जस्ट टेल यू हाउ वॉट पंक्चुएशन मार्क्स शुड गो वेन वी आर यूजिंग दीज इन आर राइटिंग्स सो वॉट सपोज इन द मॉर्निंग इफ यू आर नॉट फीलिंग वेल यू आर फीलिंग नॉट ओके दुनिया घूम रही है सर घूम रहा है तो उसको क्या बोलते हैं कैन एनी बडी टेल मी You're feeling sick. So, what is the word for it? Nausea. Oh yes, absolutely. Nausea is the word. So, my first word is ad nauseum. You feel nausea is with sickness. So, somebody talking endlessly to make a person feel sick is ad nauseum. to a sickening degree the matlab bilkul sar ghuma diya so tom talked at nauseum about the time he scored the winning run matlab and non stop bolte hi jana bolte hi jana bolte hi jana bimar kar dene ke limit tak bolte jana so that is the word is at nauseum okay we will remember nausea say at nauseum bon voyage is something we always keep using it's a french word and we all know the meaning it means 
have a nice trip and bona fide bona fide certificate it means it's a latin word bona fide and it means genuine so bona fide expert in uh, european history i need the bona fide certificate from the college for my admission to medical college i'm sure uh, faculty professors who are from commerce will know these terms carte blanche is unlimited authority and caveat emptor is let the buyer beware are these two words to pehle ke teen words are you familiar with those first one was ad nauseum bon voyage and bona fide now yes, these are the other two words carte blanche and caveat emptor when we do it one on one in class it really becomes like a quiz because it's very interesting so let's Uh, you know keep that interest alive in this digital learning platform also masses masses uh, hota hai jab hum uh, kisi bhi large group ki baat karte hain to wo mass ho jata hai to and mass means large group so pehle ke words mein revise karungi ad nauseum bona fide bon voyage caveat emptor and carte blanche carte blanche was unlimited authority caveat emptor was let the buyer be aware aur ye hamare naye words aa gaye and mass which means in a large group and fate accompli means established fact fact fate se fact four pa four pa is a very interesting word ye maine bahut baar use hote hue dekha hai par ye thoda sa gadbad pronunciation ho jata hai because it becomes fox pass it is four pa it's a french word and whenever we have in advertently made a mistake in a social on a social platform then it becomes a four pa so then the next word is ipso facto by the fact itself so these are modus operandi everyone knows method of operating and persona non grata is non persona we know is a person non is no grata not acceptable so not an a person who is not acceptable prima donna is a very conceited and temperamental person and pro bono is charity that is i mean you are doing it without charging quid pro quo is something for something and status quo is existing condition so these are the words i'm just going to do a quick recap to check who all remember what we have done just now do you remember any of the words that we did let's just quickly revise so that we we you know by the time we have uh, concluded the session i have some new words in my kitty in my vocabulary bank to always refer to whenever i need them so we actually did 15 words would you like to share the ones which you remember quickly i did them in a hurry so i will be doing a quick revision but tab tak aap logo ka kuch yaad hai koi bhi words un voyage hopa oh yes hopa modus operandi modus operandi and not the bona fide bon voyage ha 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 bilkul bilkul card launch and mass with ha yes very nice very good very good so now i am going to revise or upload zor zor se you can just uh, you know practice with this yes okay so ad nauseum we are i'm sure we, we yeah nauseous nausea we will remember this bon voyage and bon fide very very simple yes we have done. a nice bon fide Yes, yes. Can you tell me the next two words that are coming up? Card. Caveat emptor. Uh-huh. 
कार्ड ब्लांच एंड केवी टेम्प्टर कार्ड ब्लांच केवी टेम्प्टर हाँ सो व्हाट इस कार्ड ब्लांच अनलिमिटेड अथॉरिटी अनलिमिटेड अथॉरिटी अनलिमिटेड अथॉरिटी अनलिमिटेड केवी टेम्प्टर इस लेट द बायर बिवेल Yes, yes, yes. Next, what is coming next? And mass, and yes. mass. So it is in alphabetical order. So A, B, C, D, E. So that was C. Now E and F. So N mass is in a large group. Fate accomplished is established. Fact. What is coming next? F से हमने next word किया था. Pop, 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 pop. That is the social Papa. blunder. Yes. Last thing of all, pop. That's the social Papa. blunder. A B C D E F G H I. So ipso facto is the by the fact itself. So that is. Uh, yes. Yes. I अब अब कौन सा आने वाला है? I also don't know. A B C D E F G H I J K L M. Which one is coming next? Modus operandi. M. Modus operandi. Ah uh, yes, modus operandi and and uh, P. Persona non grata. Very good, very good. Method of operating and an acceptable person. Then what is coming next? Yeah. Yes, very good. Say, prima donna. Yes, prima donna and pro bono. Pro bono. Yes, yes. Temperamental and conceited person, and that is charity. Yes, very good. The last. Quid pro quo, something for something, and status quo. Is existing that condition. Know. Everyone, everyone knows existing condition. Yes, so that's all for today, and uh, I think we are almost coming to the end of the session now. Any questions? Please feel free to ask. Any feedback? Please feel free to share. Yes. So we will remember these words. Thank you, Mom, for such a wonderful session. Ah, thank you, thank you for being so interactive. Your interaction brings in a completely, you know, very very strong energy. So that is what makes it more. I mean, that brings in more power. So your interaction matters a lot, and you've been Madam, so interactive throughout. Yes, sir. Uh, how we can improve our uh, pronunciation? Okay, so how can we improve our pronunciation? So we all know that we, what first of all, we have to listen very carefully to people who are speaking good English because the brain processes the information, and we have to make a very conscious effort. So there's a lot of again technicality involved in speaking also. and pronunciation is a very very physical activity where your mouth the the way you are pronouncing the words everything matters a lot so you have to observe very very carefully when people are speaking and like like there is a difference between okay oh wow so it's a constant practice i would say sir we will be sharing tips i'll be sharing tips tomorrow also and uh, i'm sure with my new observation we can definitely improve extremely okay i'm just reading some uh, feedback from here extremely effective session ma'am you made us stick to our chair for every minute thanks a lot that's so wonderful Thank enjoyed learning, ma'am. Thank you. Very informative session. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Like I said, it is your. बहुत सारे grammar के बहुत सारे grammar के हमारे doubts के इतने सारे इतने जल्दी इतने अच्छे से clear किए हैं कि आज तक शायद नहीं हुए हैं. अभी और दो दिन हैं, ma'am. अपने साथ दो दिन में और अच्छे doubts clear हो जाएंगे, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Many more six sessions are still remaining. तो कल भी तीन घंटा मैडम है अपने साथ और परसों भी तीन घंटा है 
तो अच्छे से प्रिपरेशन हो जाए बहुत बहुत ही बढ़िया बहुत बढ़िया बहुत बहुत अच्छा सेशन रहा है इट वाज मच नीडेड एक्चुअली जरूरत थी हम लोग को बहुत रिमाइंडेड मी ऑफ द ग्रामर क्लास इन माई फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड यू नो <laughs> Sometimes certain things are so so simple, but yes. then still so complex. So that is what I said. Simplifying simple things is a difficult task. Simplifying <laughs> simplicity is very complex. Yes, because complex can be made simple. But how do you make simple more simple? So that yes, is a task in itself, but yes, I I mean I really enjoy uh, doing this. So thank you so much for such a wonderful, positive, encouraging mm-hmm. feedback. And uh, Preeti, ma'am, over to you. Yes, so, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, close the session now. Thank wonderful. you so much, thank ma'am. So yes, much. ma'am. Tomorrow three hour session from two to five. Yes, yes. So tomorrow we will get to learn a lot, lot. more. Yes, more. yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes. Okay, ma'am. Kal milte, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Yes, thank you thank so you. much. Thank, thank you, so you all much. of you. So for as today is our first day, इसलिए अपन आज जल्दी छोड़ रहे हैं चार बजे. कल अपना पूरा पांच बजे तक सेशन रहेगा सो प्लीज टेक योर ब्रेक थोड़ा रेस्ट करिए और उसके बाद पढ़ाई चालू करिए ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू मैडम थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू सी यू टुमारो टेन फिफ्टीन यस मैम ओके मैम ओके बाय बाय मैम सी यू सी यू मैडम बाय बाय